Hey everyone, my name's Shane, also known as Crypto is Key. In this video tutorial series, I want to help you as a new ICO investor understand the process and maybe just give you a little, a little, a few little tips and tricks on on how to maybe help you actually participate, because. The ICO investing realm now is getting very, very competitive and investors are relentless to get in. Okay, so you need to know the basics um, to help you. So in this first video, I'm going to just show you the different wallets and maybe what wallet could actually be more beneficial depending on the actual ICO structure. Okay, so let's have a look at that first. Okay, so let's first talk about uh, a few different structures that ICOs are running. So this one was one called OX, and the uh, first day they had a whitelist so that you had to pre-register for the whitelist, and you had a certain amount that you could purchase, okay? So everybody had a cap. Now, out of all those people, if all the caps weren't used, whatever was left over would be then av be available uh, to everybody the second day, okay, so that what that means is that on the second day, it was a free-for-all. And the only way to get those extra tokens is the fastest way possible, okay. So now if, you're not, if you don't know what you're doing, um, you're going to miss out. And that second day sold out in seconds, okay, so you've got to know what you're doing. Now, most of the time you'll miss out unless you uh, spend a lot of money trying to, trying to actually... Um, get those tokens when it's a, a race okay so so this is one scenario okay now the good thing about that is the first day they had a whitelist okay so everybody got um, you know the amount that they wanted well whatever was designated in this case it was eighteen hundred dollars worth of tokens now most ICOs these days are having a whitelist okay now you need to register to get on that whitelist and it's important that you join up with this Slack channel and that you join up with the Telegram channel, um, and you know obviously you want to get notifications because you need to know when that whitelist is going to be open and when you can register. And it's important that you get on that whitelist. If you don't, you're probably going to miss out. Okay, so that's one scenario: whitelisting. Another scenario is like what Monetha did recently, and there was no whitelist, <laughs> so it was just a matter of. First come, first serve. Okay, now this is not the ideal, I don't believe it's the ideal way to do an ICO, but this is the way that they did it. So it was a fight. Now if you were in the first, I don't know exactly how long it took before it sold out, but if you were in the first probably, I think maybe 20 minutes or one hour, you would have you know, got your transaction through. Now there's a way to be able to do that, and I'll show you in a second. Um, now there's also another option that some ICOs do, and they do it by block number. So for example, every smart contract will initialize on a certain block number. Now, some ICOs will actually show you that block number before. Um, now, to most people, this doesn't mean nothing, but to people that know what to do, this, this means a lot because you can actually set an automatic buy when that block number hits that block number, okay? So now, you, but you can only do that with one wallet, which I'm going to show you in a second. Okay, so let's have a look at the um, uh, the Monetha um, scenario. So in this case, there's no whitelist. Um, you're in a rush. Um, you're in a race to actually get tokens. How do you do this? So what happens is whenever there's a whenever there's a rush, the Ethereum networks get gets congested and it's hard to get a transaction through. The only way to get it through faster is to pay more gas or G U E I, which is um, the amount of units per gas. So now this can cost you a lot of money. So you've got to, if you really want the tokens, you've got to spend the money. Okay, so now different wallets uh, enable you to set the gas limit um, and the GUEI. Um, depending on the wallet, we'll have different options. Okay, now the problem is, for example, my Ether wallet. Okay. You can see up here that the GUI is limited. If I drop this down, it's limited to 60. That's it. Okay, so that might not ensure you to get in. All right. Now, if we look at MetaMask, um, and we go to send, um, and let me just put in a option 
description here and I'll just put in zero point uh, just put in that, 0 0.01 and I go next um, you'll see here that you can manually put in what you want okay now like for example if I put in say 500 right and I put the gas up to 250,000 um, that's 25,000 let me just add another zero in there you'll see look at you can see now that the price okay what it's going to cost all right it's going to cost you forty dollars all right uh, sorry thirty seven dollars forty five for that transaction so what happens is when um, obviously when you've got a lot of money you can you can uh, increase this this here to maybe you know if you went fifteen hundred dollars you can see the price now okay it's 112 uh, for the gas it's, okay there we go so see now see the the difference so this is an option all right now unfortunately if you do want to actually get tokens this might be the way that you have to go okay um, but you know I, I don't I've never done this um, I don't bother with that technique um, so basically with you've only got 60 here this is the max um, now MetaMask the problem is this is the other problem I have found that when I've tried to do any of this and there's a lot of network congestion MetaMask and Mu actually can error out and uh, you know and actually stall and pause and do all sorts of things I've, I've always had issues when it comes to a lot of network congestion when the Ethereum network is you know um, bottlenecked so I don't use any of those what I what I use is parity um, and this can be an advantage in some cases and it, you know sometimes I'll use Mu um, and sometimes I'll use MetaMask but I just find parity to be a little bit better um, so now here's the bonus with parity if you remember when I showed you back here in Decentraland um, this was the Decentraland one which was a really n not a good one at all but um because Wales got him before but you can see here that they've actually announced the block number okay so I'm just going to copy this so they've also got the actual contract address here um, okay let me get that first now what this means is if you're given a block number what that means is as soon as that block number executes you can buy your tokens okay so with parity you can actually set your buy order to execute on a certain block number okay so let me just show you how, how to do that first I'm going to just I'll grab this address and we'll just do a, an example so here I've got parity okay and I'm ready to go on a transfer I'm just gonna just for an example I'll just put in one here and point one I'm gonna put in the contract address okay and what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna come down to the advanced sending options okay and I'm just gonna click on that and then I'm gonna go next okay now you can see here you've got your gas and you know all this which is separate for now but obviously you want to increase this if you want to get through however this has got an extra layer that might help you so if you see over here you can see send after block number after block number okay remember that <laughs> send after block number so if I check this you can see now that it will give me the option to put in the block number now if I come back to uh, Decentraland you can see that they've got this one here okay now it won't start until block okay until block so in this case what I would do is because this is send after block I would make this right here six nine nine okay so it's what it's going to do is send after block number this and it will send on the first one after this which would be this okay now if you also increase your this this amount here and also your gas price chances are um, you know you, you might get them well you're going to have a lot more advantages over a lot of people that don't know how to do this okay so 
those are just some basic scenarios. Now, you know, you, 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 there is a lot of other options and uh, I could go on forever. But the main thing is that you need to understand is that if you increase this to maximum, and here you are limited to 60, and MetaMask, you can do it manually. Okay, so this is, this is good in that way. But just remember, I have had issues with both of these when there is a race um, on an ICO, okay? And I've never had a problem with parity, all right? It has never, ever, I've never had an error when I'm trying to get into an ICO, okay? So, but, you know, you also have to provide a password, so you might lose a couple of seconds, so it depends, you know? It really depends. You, you, you probably need to, you know, trial and error it, okay? But that's what you need to know, is you need to know that getting into an ICO will depend on gas price, Okay, and it will also depend on how the ICO is structured. There are different ways, everyone's doing it different. But what's really important is if they have a whitelist, make sure you get on it. That is the vital part of getting into an ICO. And if you can get into a pre-sale, which is the a sale before the actual ICO, that is even better. But usually you can only do that if you have a lot of Ethereum or you can join a pool, okay, and try and get in that way. So that is the best option, is to get into pre-sale, but if you can't do that, this is the route that you need to take, okay? Um, and, you know, if you've got any questions, just uh, comment below, and don't forget to subscribe, because I'm trying to help people with this, because I know it can be frustrating, uh, trying to get into an ICO. So, uh, in the next video, I'm gonna show you how to add tokens, okay, to all these different wallets. Just before I go, I just want to show you that there is also MIST, okay? Um, the only problem with MIST is you are limited. Now, if you look at this, you can see it at, when it's on that setting, it says usually within one minute. If I put it right to max, it says probably within 30 seconds, probably, okay? So, you know, you've got MIST as well. I use all these different wallets for different scenarios, but I will say that I have... Uh, decided well, now that I use parity probably more than anything okay so don't forget to subscribe and to comment if you need any more help um, and also like this video so uh, we can get some more traction try and help more people out there